I'm getting ready to take you guys inside my Robinhood stock investing portfolio app to show you guys how to sell a put and make money in the stock market. As I was telling Larry just the other day, one of my savings account has about 20 grand in it. And you know what they paid me for having that in there for a month? They paid $6. <laughs> I showed Larry how to do um, a put, sell a put that he won. And he made what, 50 bucks on that in a week. Something like that. We need to do another one. We need to get together this weekend and do another one. So we about to do one right now. Um, let me let me pull up my um, Robinhood account and show you guys how to walk through this because you know this channel is all about helping you make them gains. Now, Larry, let me know if you can see it. Can you see my screen? I can. Yeah. Okay. So we're inside my Robinhood account, and if you don't have a Robinhood account, go into the link in the video description. Get my Robinhood account. You'll get a free stock. I get a free stock. And what you want to do is you pick a stock from Robinhood that you can afford to buy one contract of. One contract is 100 shares, and one 100 shares means that, let me get in here, let me get a small one for the sake of this video, and I don't think I'm going to be able to pick any on my list. Okay, here we go, Arrow. All right, if you want to do an options contract on Arrow to make some weekly option money, you would come down here to this little ticker that says, trade arrow but before you even do all that you want to check the numbers on arrow have they had a good five years answer is yes did they have a good um last year answer is yes did they have a good three months answer is yes uh, another month yes last week yes well they went down a little bit last week but those bases tell you that this is a pretty good stock and this is the kind of stock that if you got stuck with it you could turn right around and sell calls but that's the second half of the video we'll do that next week so if you want to do sell a put and selling the put just means you're giving someone the option to buy this contract from you from said expiration date and the expiration date on this one would be december the 18th but if you want to check you come in here and click i recommend you only use stocks that give you a weekly expiration date unless it's a stock you really really love and adore all right so what you would do from here, you would click sell, you would click put. You're going to come down here, and the share price of this stock is $6.70. And what you are doing, ladies and gentlemen, you're trying to pick a price below this that you feel like the share is not going to drop below this price by this expiration date. And so if I was going to use this one as an example, I would be completely comfortable with picking $5. But if you want a measured way to make a pick, you just click on that and come in here and look for the delta. The delta is an indication of the strength of how the stock is going to move. And with a 15, you usually want to see this number minus 30 or less. So you real you weigh in the good on this one. And you also check this number right here, implied volatility. What does that mean? That just tells you the amount of activity, either selling or buying that is going on with this stock. I typically don't like to see this number higher than 75 because the higher you go, the more you can get something called um, implied volatility crush, meaning that if it's really, really high, it could drop really, really low in volatility the next minute. And if it drops low because people are selling, you could be stuck. So that's why I don't like to go really high on the volatility. But for this particular stock, I wouldn't have a problem doing it, but I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying I wouldn't. So to get your mind right, you would have to multiply this number right here by 100, which would be $500. And you would come over here and you're going to get paid immediately $23 because you're also going to multiply 100 by this. And you would just simply click on the button. You see it's going to sell a put that expires on December the 18th. You're going to get a credit of $20 immediately. And you're going to come in here and you're going to put in one contract. And you can put a limit price in here. The higher you go on your limit price, the less likely they are to execute this particular trade. So me, typically, I'll do is saying between 20 and 25 
I would do 23 because that's what it's saying anyway. You could do 23 and be fine. So I do point 23, review your order, and you would need a minimum of $500. That's your five times 100 in order to do this because if on the expiration date, which is December the 18th, at 4 p.m., if the share price drops below $5, they're going to force you to buy 100 shares of this stock, which would be $500. Now, ladies and gentlemen, people will say to you, this is risky. You could lose your money. I'm telling you, as long as you pick a quality stock, time is what you're going to lose. Because, yes, the stock might drop below this price. But if it's a quality stock, such as a Tesla, such as an Apple, such as a Microsoft, in time, the stock is going to go back up. And what you would turn around and do at that point in time is sell calls. But in the meantime, they are going to go ahead and pay you whatever this price is. So you've got that money in your bank account automatically. And then if this price does not drop below this strike price on that date, you get the money back in your bank account that midnight. And Larry has gone through the process. So Larry, what questions do you currently have now about the process? I don't, uh, my my questions aren't really so much on the on the put side so much. I I mean I feel like I just need to go through it a couple more times with a couple more stocks just so I feel comfortable. I like to do things, you know, it's like anything. You do things uh, a few times, you get some repetitions under your belt, and you feel comfortable doing it yourself, you know. And so, so Larry, Larry, let me show them the crazy money that can be made on bigger stocks. So like, let's just take a look at Tesla for example. So next Friday is December the 11th. If you were to sell a put on Tesla, if you had the kind of money in your bank account to buy 100 shares at this price, they're going to pay you $2,000 up front. And with Jeez. the way Tesla has been moving up, this is definitely one you want to mess around with right now. That volat implied volatility is very low for Tesla. I mean, I, I wouldn't do a delta at 45 per se unless... I'm trying to get the stock at a discount. So for me, I would be all over this one. But if you're trying to play it safe and you want to get your collateral back at the end of the week, you always want to make sure that delta looks more around this number or lower. You always want that delta to be somewhere around 30, 33, nothing higher. And the implied volatility is still good here too. And you're still making money. You're still for a week going to get paid $1,600. So, ladies right. and gentlemen, instead of letting money just sit idle in the bank account, do what I've been doing for the last year. Sell some puts and sell some calls. And you guys will be making yourself a pretty, as Larry David would say, pretty, pretty, pretty penny. Pretty <laughs> penny. I, and on the, on the stock thing, since we're talking about it, um, I know you and I talked about it, uh, you know, in the past, but um, on Wednesday, I believe it's, yeah, next Wednesday, DoorDash is going, it's supposed to have their IPO on Wednesday, and on Thursday, Airbnb is going to have theirs. Okay, yeah. I, now, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably going to be in on the Airbnb. Um, yeah. It, now, this is what I have learned. There are some stocks where it's, it, it might be prudent for you to just give it a couple of days to see where the volatility leads you. Um, I'm not sure if Airbnb is doing that private investor discount shit that y'all know I hate, but if they are doing that, I would certainly wait at least two days before you jump in. Now, if they're going straight to IPO and the price they list is the price the retailers get, then I would buy some immediately. So I'm going to have to look that up and get back to you guys by Thursday because I want you guys to keep making them damn gains in this money. And Larry, somebody asked me, could I do an explanation of what it means to buy a call and, and buy a put? And I can do that sometime next week, too, because I've been messing around with that and had pretty good success with that as well. But my, my main go to is selling puts, using the wheel strategy. And if for whatever the reason my stock drops below my strike price, all I then in turn do, as long as it didn't drop too low, is just start selling calls and keep the wheel going. And it's right. been working out. 